Hi, it's Joe and today I'm going to be watching The Wild, Season 1, Episode 6, Day 12. So we've jumped a few more days. How many days are they going to be here for? I am so excited to keep watching this show, to see which girl's story we're going to learn more about this episode, and just to see how they get on on the island and try and pick up any more clues about who the operative is. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance. And let's go. This is Jeanette's body right and not somebody else that died. You've murdered someone. Is this now or before? Yeah. Because I can't imagine she'd do this willingly in the middle of the experiment. What? Is this before somehow? They aren't safe yet, are they? It is. I don't trust you. And maybe I'm being paranoid. Keeping you separate, it helps the account be less muddled. More honest. The investigation or your experiment? Really but at some point, it just sort of clicked. Hmm. I'm glad. You were friends or anything, but... You're a group, a team, a family. The first time we were in us. Okay, yes. I'm here for this. What's gonna go wrong? Everything about the island just felt off again. Yep. It is off. You're on to something. It's not too personal. It's just observation. Hmm. Because you're doing it for your boss? No. Or, uh... hmm. We're getting more Leah backstory? Which I don't mind. I want to know more about all of them. But we haven't heard about all of them yet. So he wasn't ashamed of being seen in public with a child. I guess because he thought, oh, 18 is an acceptable age. She looks older than she is. Or is this her imagining their future? Honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm a hundred years old. It's fine. Because it's, it's not healthy dating an adult man. He wants us to be more than friends, doesn't he? Or does he? I don't know. She's going for it. Leah, this is age appropriate. About everything or just him? Oof. I'm like a very non-violent person, but I could fucking kill him for how he treated you. Mm hmm Oh, it's after. You don't know him. Um, Sweetheart, she's yeah, too I close to it know. right now. <laughs> These kids. He did screw the high school girl and then- Oh wait, you're a year younger than I thought? Alas, I must break up with you. Shall we be being suspicious by the water? Yeah. Now was she acting weird because she was going to wash her retainer? Oh yeah. Ooh, always explaining stuff. So she suspects she'll... Shelby. <laughs> they are getting on better. So she's suspicious of Shelby. She's definitely one of my top suspects. But we need her backstory. We haven't got it yet, which is suspicious. Would you stop? What's wrong with her? Like... I'm sure she comes from a sheltered upbringing, but... Be as honest as possible because y'all deserve that. Oh great, if she's homophobic, she's going down my list of likings. I do believe that way of life is a sin. I can't fucking believe it. I'm sorry, but everything that I've ever known has taught me that. Yeah, but everything you've ever known is sheltered and stupid. In my heart. And you're learning more. I'm so sorry. Fuck you. I don't 100% blame Shelby because she's very young. I feel like this is probably one of her first ever exposures into the wider world and other people, but that was very inappropriate. Am I not allowed to have my own beliefs? Not when they destroy other people's. Mm-hmm. But I think, again, she's young. I hope with age she would learn, but... What's wrong? She doesn't like you because you're homophobic. You can't think the way you do. You can't have a problem with someone over who they exactly. are. Exactly. Over something that they can't even it's take. This whole thing just made me... Mm hmm She's not- is she okay? Are you okay? People like Shelby, she's a kid, like she's what, 17, who she's been raised in a sheltered family, she's never had access to any other ideals, but the older you get, the more worldly you get, the more you do learn. If you cling to that belief, then you're being ignorant by choice. Um, so I don't like hate Shelby at this point because she is a kid, but I would have as much of a problem with her as the rest of the girls do, and I think I'd have gone after Tony and been like, God, what bitch. Oh dear. 
Holy shit. Oh, I know it's really stressful when somebody takes away your agency, isn't it? Just think about that. Conditions very fair to critical. Oh God, critical! Coming in, I'll be there. Is it just food poisoning or something far worse? Is she okay? Fuck. Let me know she's alive because I've seen her in the interview rooms. And ruffle my hair and say that I had like a very. Let's zip it up again. I do want to know where Shelby's going, but we also need the medicine back in camp. We really need that medicine, Leah. For a bright girl who lets her mind weave a wild story instead. And that's the one you choose to go with, for better or for worse. You're trying to protect yourself right now, right? From this organization and the truth. I know you sent him my birth certificate. What? If he did, it saved you. Or did he? Did Jeff always know how old you were? I'm sorry, Nora. I'm really, really sorry. This isn't your fault, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Blame me. I'm the reason we're here. Because of the operative, or because you got them sent here? <laughs> My God! I thank God I know she's alive. Oh god. Oh my goodness, an animal got there, like the goat we saw earlier or something. Leah. Oh, did someone else do this? I don't know who. I don't know how I let it happen. Well, I have some guesses. Delirium. Mm hmm Dehydration. But that wasn't your first unforced error, was it? What do you mean? Sorry if that sounded glib. Your friend. He is so working with the people behind the experiment and they're trying to discredit Leah to make her doubt herself. Creates all of this obsessive energy. This, obsessive this is so awful and he's like in here manipulating her and I hate it. Love. Like yes, there's some truth in that but she's also onto something. Did she just spiral endlessly downwards? What are you doing my love? I know we've got two. Oof. Okay, halfway there. Oh no, they've got one. Who has not seen Martha? What if- it better not have been her body. No, no, because we know that was Jeanette's body. Oh. There's only one. Come on, Daddy, it's obvious who needs it most. Martha, you good? Yeah, I'll take a pep talk, be good. See, Shelby does care. And with other influences, she would be a truly good person. I mean, if literally anybody else gave it to her, she would have just taken it herself, sweetheart. And maybe learn from this that your ignorance and your homophobia is bad. I mean, she will be suffering and she will be feeling like everyone hates her now, but... She was too proud. That grown-ass man screwed her up. I'm very stressed and I hate this man. Okay, she's okay, thank God. I was scared someone like that was gonna happen. Is Martha okay? Watching after me today. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Because she didn't get the medication. Think about it. Oh God, why did no one go with her? She could hit her head on a rock. Marty? Martha! No, 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 no. Is this where they got approached? You see how it applies to you, don't you? I don't like this man, I don't trust this man. Oh my god, Martha, please be okay. Okay, she is a good person and she cares about people and people care about her and she has a whole family. You for me a lifeline. You die. Who cares? I don't matter. Shelby, just let her yell at you right now. It's not about you. In the forest, I might have dropped something. Why didn't you tell any of us before? I'm sorry. She wasn't well, you but... Dropped it. No. I tried to make it right. Maybe not straight away, but I tried. Yes, you tried. It's the people that did this to them's fault, which I think includes you, you bastard. No, like I'm some kind of fucking criminal. She's onto them, and he's trying to set her spiraling. 
He brought, came in here to rile her up so this would happen. This is not a good place. Honestly, I think so. It's gonna be him, right? Also, she had enormous promise, this young woman. I think about her often. You killed her. She would have become. If you hadn't killed her, essentially. It's a wild ride with them. Yeah, because you're torturing them. Not always when I'm you're not being honest with me. Knew it. Well, there may be some. I knew you'd be good when I vetted you, but I didn't think you would be this good. Excuse me? You graduated. This is how she recruited him. Oh my god. Postdocs at Yale. Mildly controversial ideas landing you here. Languishing in a third rate. Recruiting terrible people. I knew it. I mean, it, I don't think I'm alone in figuring that out, but. What is their plan with these children? Because. What Their families all think they were away for the summer. So are they going to fake another plane crash and kill them all, or...? Jesus, Dan, that was virtuosic. I'm glad you're pleased. I despise them. That would seem the more implicated these young girls feel about the tragedies that occurred over there, the less inclined they are to expose us. Fuck them. Yep. He is psychologically manipulating. You're doing it too. I hate this so much. 1997. These kids weren't even born then, you bastard who's torturing them. Any possible growth she had, they've thrown her back, and I hate this. Okay, so I'm in complete denial. Martha Martha is fine, she just fell asleep, and um, until they confirm that she's dead, I don't believe it. Um, very sick, and so that's what she feels guilty about, sure. Um, but that was awful and horrific, and they will all blame themselves. They don't when they talk to Rachel, they'll be like, oh, you brought the clown, you brought the muscles, didn't you? you didn't you poison everybody? Um, they're going to make sure that everybody in their own way feels guilty. So that's their plan. Their plan is that they'll implicate these girls so badly that they're all going to go home claiming they went on a summer camp. I mean, what I don't understand what their end game is here. I'm really scared about what it means for these children. Like, not only are they torturing them for these months, or however long it's been, she said in two months, um, has it been that long? Or maybe that was actually, even though it looked like they were talking about now, maybe it was different, I don't know. Um, I just, it kills me that they're doing this to them and their parents all sent them somewhere it would seem to get them help and therapy and instead they're being tortured and any growth they manage to make by themselves, they're being pushed backwards. Um, I hope this show ends with those people in prison, but I feel like it might not. Um, and how I just I need to know what their end game is here because I've always wondered that. The girls are gonna say, Oh no, we crashed out into an island like the day we left. We've not been having a summer camp, so they're gonna get them to lie. I just really don't know. Um I hate what they did to Leah. Like she's already been used by one adult in her life who utterly destroyed her. And now this. I do wonder who sent the birth certificate, who did that? Because it was sort of kind of weird, like who had the birth certificate her parents didn't seem to know part of me does wonder whether he always knew her age and he just pretended to be heartbroken by it because he was done with that kid he was sleeping with and he had six others in other cities because he's a vile person because i'm sorry if you're in your 30s you do not date a teenager i mean i'm 27 i would not date someone who was 22 because i think that's a bit too far of a gap like even 20 like you know like it's hard when like because like kids and then adults where is the line so he's vile and my heart does break for Leah because she's been through so much and she was as with all these girls in such a vulnerable place right now when they decided to come and use her and then on the island it's not Rachel's fault she found food and healthy food that might sustain them and they were having a great time oh, Shelby I've been trying so I'm athe I'm an atheist um and I have very strong atheist beliefs um like, children get cancer. There is no loving God. Um, and many more. So, initially, I would immediately be like, if she, for someone to keep going on about God would annoy me. Because I'm not going to keep going on about how there is no God to them, so, like, we should just each be quiet about our beliefs. Um, that would annoy me. The fact that she goes hunting would annoy me. Um, when I was her age, I would have probably thought, oh, she's going to think she's better than me because she's all pretty and blonde and perfect. Um... As an adult, I obviously don't feel that petty way towards her, but I can put myself back into where they would be. And yeah, she, I kind of didn't let myself think about whether or not she'd be homophobic, but of course she is. Um, and it's, at this point, it's not her fault. If she's homophobic for much longer, it will be. Because when you're a kid, you basically absorb the ideals of your parents. And then as you get older, 
you learn more. We have access to the internet these days. And I know when you are in some religious households, you don't have access to the internet. Your parents like completely censor what you get to do. Um, I do really want to see her story to find out what she's like, or that she could be the operative. So I don't know if we'll see the operative story. Um, and her wandering off all the time is suspicious, but I think they've made her too suspicious too quick, but then I just don't know. Everyone is suspicious here. Um, I hate that she's homophobic, but I think there are lots of people like her who it is not, it, when they say, oh, I love everybody, and I don't think wish badly on them, I just feel bad that they're going to hell. God made them gay. So like, because something I always say to people is, oh, if what point in your life did you choose to be straight? If you don't have an answer, then they didn't choose either. If you do have an answer, then you're not straight. Um, I just, it's, it's so hypocritical and just self-righteous and it's disgusting, that kind of belief. And she's very clearly had it brainwashed, bred into her her whole life. But she's 17, she's on the cusp of adulthood and getting out from directly under her parents. This is the time when she should be learning for herself and allowing herself to consider the fact that it's not a sin. Um, so that was quite a disappointing revelation and I'm glad that Martha and everyone else there was like oh my god what the fuck because I feel that way I, it would make me get a lot less friendly towards her like yeah we're also stuck on a stranded island I'm not gonna like kick her out of camp but to be honest I think I'd almost want to if I hadn't then just got food poisoning I'd want to talk to her try and like c teach her that she's just being ignorant <laughs> because she is I would not try and teach her not to be religious because that's her right and I would fight for her right to be religious even if to me the concept of a loving god is offensive I would support anybody's right to be religious but to be homophobic no that that is not a right at all and I do feel really bad for Tony hearing that um no one should have to hear that and she kind of always felt that was off and then Martha I'm so glad that she sort of told you I'll be like you cannot have those views no um and I think she would have really held a task on it if she hadn't got sick I am really stressed that she might be dead I am hopeful that she isn't but I'm really really stressed that she is going to turn out to be dead um she did it did seem dire it did seem as though she stopped breathing but we didn't see confirmation and so and at no point did evil psychiatrist man say to Leah you killed someone so I'm hoping that she will pull through but we'll find out I suppose um I despise every single person, every single adult involved in this. I wish I was Shelby and believed in hell so I could think they were all going to burn there. <laughs> um, getting sick in this kind of situation, in this kind of environment is beyond terrifying. And you know, I'm not going to hold you to account and scream at her, I think she did a dumb thing. But as an adult, you don't make her feel worse about that. I mean, yeah, following Shelby right there and then was not the priority. The priority was taking the bag back. And then when Shelby gets back, you could ask her where she went. And then keep an eye on her in the future if she wanders off, follow her then. Um, but Leah was delirious, very, very sick, and the stress and the paranoia of the situation would affect anybody's mental health. Just because you might have mental health issues or, you know, not be entirely mentally healthy doesn't mean you're crazy or not to be believed. Um, and I hate that they're doing this to Leah. Seeing them all sick and so weak and vulnerable is very scary, but I'm really glad we saw them all pushing together, pulling their weight, including fat in. I love the system they created on who does chores and everything and the way Martha was just there for Tony and you know at the end when Tony was screaming at Shelby like how could you give them the drug to me I don't matter I'm glad Shelby stopped arguing with her about it because it was very clear that it wasn't about her anger at Shelby really it was at her it was the fact that she would have given that drug to Marty in a second and the fact that she was saying things like I don't matter I don't deserve to live like she deserves to live like she matters more than me was so crushing because you're both 16 17 year old girls you both matter and you both deserve to live and, and everyone is living, because I say so. So yeah, this was a really good episode. It was a really painful episode. And like the more I watch this show, the angrier I get at the adults behind this, and the more scared I am that they're gonna get away with it, and then I'm scared what they're gonna put the girls through in this safe environment. Um, Cause surely at this point, Leah can't be the only one being suspicious. But yeah, I'm very, very stressed. I'm very stressed about who the operative is still. I do think Shelby's a candidate, but then some of how she's acted and said doesn't seem like a candidate, and they've made it too obvious. Again, I feel like Doc could be a candidate still because of that meeting, but I also don't know. I think she's been too... I mean, she knows what to do all the time, which is suspicious as well. But I also feel like we've seen her lose her mind a little bit more. Nora is someone that's still a candidate. She's taking notes in a notebook. She's there when people need help. And 
even mm-hmm. saying to her sister when they were both very, very ill, you should blame me, it's my fault we're here. Now, I know that when they first got here, Rachel was blaming her for getting them sent here. Or I, don't, I don't know whether she suggested the trip or at least for telling her parents that she was struggling and that got her sent here. Um, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but obviously that could just be all it was. Like, go back to blaming me, don't blame yourself. But I also worry that it's not right. So yeah, this was a fantastic episode. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction and all of my reactions on my Patreon. Get those two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance, and thank you so much for watching.